One of the things that I look at in reconstructing a pedestrian crash is the height or the stature of the pedestrian and also the height of the leading edge of the vehicle. If the leading edge of the vehicle sits higher than the pedestrian's center of mass, an impact will result in a forward projection trajectory. This trajectory is common in high-fronted vehicles such as buses, trucks, and SUVs or with shorter pedestrians. If the leading edge of the vehicle is above or at the pedestrian's center of mass, then the pedestrian is going to tend to either project away from the vehicle or rotate away from the vehicle. This trajectory is common in vehicles with low leading edges such as sedans and coupes. Note that in a wrap trajectory, there are separate and distinct impacts with the pedestrian and the vehicle, such as on the pedestrian's leg, hip, shoulder, and head. So a wrap trajectory, I'd expect to see damage basically going from the bumper of the vehicle onto the hood, and depending on the speed, also on the windshield and potentially the roof. The key difference is really where the leading edge of the vehicle contacts the pedestrian in relationship to that pedestrian's center of mass. 